are sitting here in one of 24 spaces that is being improved as part of the Making Space for Nature project. Uh, it's been an amazing journey that we've taken to allow us to transform public open spaces into havens for wildlife and for people. So you'll see that we've got benches that allow people to sit and enjoy and appreciate the nature that's been created around us. In this particular park there are pollinator friendly beds, there are new trees that will flower in the spring and then grow and provide shade as we go forward through climate change. There are wildflower meadows. They're beautiful at the moment because they're full of annuals, but over the years they'll change and they will turn into perennial meadows. So there will always be something there for insects and for the birds that will come to eat the insects. We have hedgehog boxes hidden away in what we call the scrubby areas around the parks. We have bat boxes and bird boxes, and that's just in case a, a little creature wants to find somewhere safe to live. So we've tried to think of lots of different ways that wildlife and people can enjoy public open spaces across Cornwall. We want to take people with us on, on this journey and for them to appreciate the small things that they can do for nature. So I'm standing next to one of the many flower beds that we planted in the different spaces in the Making Space for Nature project. Uh, you'll see that it's in full flower, we're in July, but we've actually selected different plants to make sure that they flower across a number of different months. And that's to make sure the pollen and nectar is provided for, uh, for as long as possible. Um, this is just an example of it though. And what we'd really like is for everybody to do a little bit for our, our failing insects. So why don't you come up to the park, have a look and see exactly what we've planted, replicate it in your own garden and hey presto, your space will be buzzing with insects too. So I'm uh, standing here by one of the benches that we put in. Um, it's positioned so that you look out over the estuary, so what better way to enjoy a lovely sunny day, if only. Um, we have put in a new path that connects a kind of an obvious route that people used to take uh, between here and the top of the hill back there. So we really did try and accommodate what people wanted as well as what wildlife might benefit from. So I'm, on my right hand side here, we have the fantastic year one meadow. It's its first year, so it has a mix of annuals and perennials over the seasons and over the years it will change and it will become a perennial meadow and that will be so good for our insects. If the insects are here it means the birds will come and generally we are looking at the start of, of a, a corridor for wildlife to travel through. We know that we have hedgehogs here, we know that we have certain species of birds here. So combined the meadows with the pollinator friendly planting and the trees being put in across the site and we really have started to create a bit of a green corridor for our insects and birds. We're in the orchard area and we've planted this at the lowest possible area to keep it protected from the quite serious winds that we can get um, at the beacon. There are 14 different trees here, orchard trees, and then there is an, a current border. The idea was that really it would be fantastic for both people and wildlife. So with all of our ideas, we want people to be involved in the interventions that we've made as part of the Making Space for Nature project. In this phase of the project, we have been working in seven different towns. So that's Bodmin, Falmouth, Newquay, Launceston, Lisgard, St Austell and Penryn. Making Space for Nature has been running since 2019 and will finish in December 2022. Um, it's an amazing project and it's been part funded by the European Regional Development Fund uh, with match funding provided by Cornwall Council and the University of Exeter, who we're working very closely with to monitor the works that we've done across the seven towns that we're working in.
Making Space for Nature is improving 24 different spaces in the seven towns. And we've set up some gardening sessions which allow people to come into the parks to experience what we've been doing and to get actively involved. That's really just the start of things. What we need now is for others to take up the mantle, to care for these spaces, to create more spaces for wildlife, which ultimately will benefit all of us. Mm -hmm.